In this video we leave Carnarvon Gorge and head to Emerald via Fairburn Dam. We then head to Bar Calden before heading up to Kururinya Reserve via Mudabar. Well, a bit of an update on how far we got from trying to leave camp this morning after getting 50 mil of rain over the last day and a half. Um, let's just say we're still here. We only didn't get too far, so we're just outside, or just as you come in actually. But, um, so, we fell right into, uh, the track was too too wet we pretty much went straight into a into some soft little conditions over here and um, the car and the van just sunk so I took about four goes out of the max tracks to get to the position where we were and um, we've decided to to after uh, walking the rest of the track anyway I mean we can get out now but by the time you actually get anywhere to, to set up you're not um, you're getting in there a bit too late anyway so the hosts here have been great everyone else has been camping here they helped us out anyway and um, you know I can get a campfire get a camp feed on and uh, we can dry a whole heap of stuff out because um, yeah let's just say we did copper drenching over the last uh, last day and a bit and um, we got the Sun out now um, it's dried out heaps here actually so you sort of sit there and look at it and um, and you go, yeah, no, it should be pretty good to go now. But um, I'll just show you sort of the car and what we sort of left as we were drive, driving out. So we've uh, got, got the van set up properly because um, this is where we're staying. But, you know, got mud from head to toe over, over this thing. Um, even, on, even on the roof of the, the camper trailer. We've done, tried to do a little bit of clean up at the moment, just drying out our, our gummies, but that's, you know, what was sitting on the front of the van. Max tracks are dry, drying out, we had to give them a scrub, they were just absolutely caked. And then this is sort of our little, our little trail. 
So if you have a look here, so that's sort of in there, sort of where the official campgrounds are, so where you see those sort of sheds and whatnot, we were sort of just behind this, um, uh, they're, they're sort of our neighbours, we were just sitting on the left hand side of these guys, and um, pretty much as soon as I got out through the little gate or the entry here, saw, saw this water puddle here, which looked a little bit, a little bit dodged. So I saw some tracks to the left, and as soon as I hit them, rookie error, I went in the soft stuff, and pretty much just went straight down straight away. Albeit I wasn't giving it a lot of right foot because I was sort of mindful of how much mud I was going to flare up everywhere. But, um, but yeah, no, so. Four, four goes on the on the maxis and a little bit of a push on the back of the van and we've pretty much ended up ended up here got it uh, sort of where where it's all a bit firmer and then we were going to reassess and see what it was but by the time we sort of had a look at the the rest of the track and whatnot it was two o'clock anyway it's at least um, you don't have a lot of dirt um, to, to leave here so um, it's really only two k's of dirt to the main road and then, then you're all bitumen, so happy days. But when we walked um, from here to where the causeway, the first k, it was definitely a little bit 50-50 still in the morning. So we would have had, definitely would have had um, the skates on a little bit, a little bit of right foot, which we weren't really too, too keen on trying to do after we just sort of just did all this. You didn't want to rip up the uh, rip up the the main road for these guys as well, so uh, mindful of that. But on on the other side of the causeway, uh, the second half of the the, the K um, road hitting the bitumen. Happy days. It looks like a highway actually. So we walked end up walking the whole thing just to have a have a good look at it. But anyway, this is. Um, this is camp for the night. We're still able to use, you know, showers, dunnies, all that stuff. Uh, cleaning some clothes out, drying the van out as well. Um, got dragged over a fire pit, so um, going to get a fire. And I'm, I'm hoping they um, might get a magic sunset as well coming into place. So, so yeah, a little bit of clean up, uh, the Sarvi, but um, all in all, I could be stuck in worse places, right? So this is this is all right. So anyway, bit of an update. Cheers. In the next video, we explore Porcupine Gorge before heading to Mary Kathleen.